Hi, my name is Emily. I saw Elaine back in July, end of July. Um, the reason I started seeing her is because uh, at the time I was feeling very lost about a lot of issues that I was having um, career-wise, family-wise, um, health-wise. I was having issues that couldn't really be explained. Um, and I came to her thinking that maybe there was something that she could help me see that I didn't see before um, or that when I would see her that it would be something that would help me uncover um, what might be going on and then, you know, ways to fix it. Um, but what I didn't expect um, at all from this was she's not just any ordinary energy healer. Um, what I was looking for was specifically an energy healer, um, someone in alternative medicine who had um, a more holistic sense of me as a person and who can tap into things that other medical practitioners, counselors, um, family members, psychiatrists, all those um, people in our lives that we look to for help, um, things that they couldn't um, help me explain that um, I was looking for um, guidance from someone who could see me as a person as a whole um, and that's I think what Elaine, her, her extraordinary gift is, is seeing the person for who they are, um, seeing their, meeting them where they are, where things might not have gone the way that they've wanted them to um, in a lot of areas of their life, but that reminding you that you have gifts that you have to offer, um, and not only that, but just that what you have inside of you is, is something that needs to be brought out, but in the right way. And um, what I realized over the years of having a difficult childhood and difficult um, adulthood, family-wise, friendship-wise, medically, um, psychologically, m most aspects of my life up until this point have felt very out of control. Um, felt that there's no way I can really address this because who really can understand what I'm going through? Um, but just sitting down with her has made a huge, huge difference. And I'm not just saying that. Um, I'm not just saying that when you go see her, everything will be great. Um, and that you'll be feeling like everything's going to be fixed and you don't have to have any worries that, that everything. But honestly, after going to her, you uncover things you, you don't really expect to 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 dig up deep inside that are at the root of your problems um but she saw those things right away um she saw those things in me right away that um i was subject to you know emotional neglect um feeling um feelings of inadequacy feelings of um, not fitting in and the way she explained it to me was how all of us are born with a certain energy and for me my energy field it's very high energy and I'm not sure how to really explain this in a way that um, could be um, understood unless you're um, going to be seeing Elaine, but um, basically what she was saying to me is the reason I've had issues with connecting with people, the reason I've had issues with my health and with um, not being understood and not feeling like my, you know, gifts are unable to be realized. Um, it's mostly because I'm on a level that is harder for, um, I haven't been surrounding myself with people that get me on an energy level standpoint and being able to open up to her and have her truly understand what I'm going through, what, um, what struggles I've had in the past, 
um, it's meant so much. Um, and it's not just that, it's, it's how uncovering these things have, have made it really, um, difficult for me, um, but in the best way possible because I was on medication that, um, psychiatric medication, um, and I also was seeing a lot of doctors and, and being evaluated for a bunch of different ailments and then, you know, seeing therapists and all, all sorts of things where there, there wasn't ever really a clear answer to what was going on. I had tons of diagnoses that weren't really explaining why I was having certain struggles. Um, and then once I saw Elaine, you know, it wasn't about my diagnoses at all. It wasn't about my past medical history. It wasn't, I didn't feel like, you know, she was labeling me at all, like in the way that I felt labeled for so much of my life where, you know, they see you as one thing and then that's it and that's how they judge you. Like Elaine was able to tell me that the, the, the diagnoses I've had in the past, um, are just labels they threw at me because they didn't know what really was going on and they couldn't explain it. Um, but that a lot of what was causing these things that were happening to me was past trauma and feelings of neglect and being misunderstood um, really had an effect on me and in so many different ways. Um, you know, feeling like... Um, even from feeling like lazy to being indecisive to being anxious in general, but just feeling like you have doubts about everything. You have doubts about what your purpose in life is, if you really matter to people, if you have the capacity to be a positive influence and impact on others, and if those people are, are going to um, appreciate you for who you are. Um, those are all doubts I had that, that Elaine, because of her, um, of her, of her approach, her holistic approach was able to, um, reveal to me that those things that I've been labeled as, um, those things that when I have been going to doctors and therapists and, and, um, other specialists that have these ideas of what, you know, medicine is, um, how to heal, how to treat, that when I went to her, there were things that she could tap into right away that, you know, if you're going to someone who has the capacity to understand you at an, a deep, holistic energy level, that they don't have to just see the external. And in fact, it's almost counterproductive when judging um, an individual for what's really going on and getting to the bottom of things. I just wanted to say though that, um, to wrap this up, I guess that coming to her was something that I, I thought would be sort of like, maybe she could diagnose me with something or tell me what I should do and this should be fine and do this and that. And then, you know, your life is great and fixed. And it's honestly been something that has really fundamentally changed me, um, feeling like, you know, I don't have to just sit idly by and hope things don't go crazy and go awry because I just give up and don't feel like I have anyone to turn to or have myself to turn to. I felt like I had no faith in my own abilities and my own, um, my own gifts and my, and, and she was able to reassure me that those things that I felt like I was incapable of doing um, were not because I wasn't capable or that I had no way of, of doing those things or being, um, you know, a, a productive, not even productive, but just a person who has value. I, I didn't know those things, those, those things from the external world were really blocking me from understanding who I am as a person and um, she gives you the tools that you need 
to be able to uncover those those deeper deeper level things that don't necessarily have an explanation um, um, in in the traditional Western medicine sense. Um, so I've been off medication since um, end of August, middle to end of August. Um, I was on six different medications, um, all of them relating to psychiatric or medications that were um, treating side effects from my psychiatric medications. Um, and I've been off of those since August. I, ta I immediately tapered off starting after I saw her. And um, I, it's honestly something that scared me at first because I thought I would have to be on medicine for the rest of my life. But that alone has helped me uncover things that I was blocking out because I was just so closed off and my brain was shutting down all these, um, this, the, the stimuli coming in that was negative, that was hurting me ultimately. So I was able to see right away, you know, I'm very much more intuitive to my surroundings and the people around me, um, because you know, I'm able to tap into my own energy in knowing that I have the capacity to really understand what's going on um, without blocking of medications and um, receiving that those messages. Um, so um, what I thought would be something that would be like quick fixes, um, as I said, have ended up being kind of life-changing. I even um, quit my job right afterward. Um, it was a kind of dead-end job where I was just working in an office, but also not only was it not what I really wanted to do and what my gifts are in, I was in a very hostile work environment with abusive coworkers that even when I addressed it with my bosses was never taken seriously. Um, and, and even after quitting, um, I've been having flashbacks of the, the, the trauma that I faced, um, because I was just blocking it out and I didn't know who to turn to and I gave up. And so I just internalized everything. Um, and same with, with, um, going to, to my doctors, I, I gave up in a lot of ways with who I was able to confide in who could understand me um who who really wanted to help heal me as opposed to throwing diagnoses onto me and then treating me based on those diagnoses with medicines that would not really uncover those problems that I was fundamentally um holding on to and not being able to address so uh, what I would really encourage everyone to do who isn't considering going to Elaine or any other energy healer um, is first to expect that you'll be having to do a lot of internal work. Um, it's not like a going to a doctor. It's not like going to a counselor where you, you know, talk and then when you do have something that you bring up that might be hard or, or you know, something that might be a problem basically a symptom of what's really at the bottom of things that when you have those things that you talk about and then they just, you know, say, okay, well, this is how you fix it. Um, Elaine's approach is completely different. Um, so her idea of, of healing is basically when you're with her, you're, you're in a space where you're freed up of all those emotions of I don't know what's going on I'm I'm confused I'm nervous I'm hopeless even um, so when you have those feelings that you go to into a doctor's office with or into a you know a therapist's office with where you come out feeling just as confused as before and, and feeling like just as hopeless and, and feeling that there's no one that really can understand you I was able to come out of Elaine's office feeling more hopeful than ever and it's not even something that I expected. I thought that maybe she would have um, sort of, as I said, sort of just 
simple cookie cutter solutions. I don't know how else to put it, but um, she is very good at tailoring her approach to an, every individual person, every individual's um, needs energetically, mentally, emotionally, um, but just treating as a person as a whole. So um, when you go to her session, um, be prepared to have things that come up that you don't, you probably haven't talked about in a very long time or with anybody ever. Um, I was able to talk about past abuse that I faced and um, things I never really verbalized. I mean, I would generally say it to my practitioners of, oh, I've experienced this or I've had these feelings of, you know, things that they would kind of just deduce down to a diagnosis where she was able to take all of that in, help me delve deeply into it more so that once we uncovered it, it was it was so much clearer what was really happening it was the the trauma that I've been carrying with me and the negativity that I've um, subjected myself to um, and and so once we've uncovered that like it just kind of opened up the floodgates for everything so I'm feeling like when I've been feeling down or feeling depressed or feeling hopeless or feeling like I have these feelings of, of doubt, um, I'm able to see that it's not really coming from me. It's not that there's something wrong with me. There's something that I'm, that's I've twisted thinking or anything like that. Like what I'm realizing is that my issues have come from the external and the way that I interpret it and the way I internalize it, the way I, um, respond to that information, um, has become so twisted in my mind that I put it on me and I um, blame myself for things that are not my fault. I blame myself for other people's um, mistakes that I think I might have had a part in or I feel like, you know, I'm defective in whatever way and, and there's no way for me to, to, to break out of this, this cycle of failure. Um, you go in feeling like, you know, it's, it's hard to talk about the things that she has you talk about, but once you leave there, you, you feel like there's now an explanation for why everything has happened the way it's happened. And that when you have the information that you need to heal yourself, you can move forward and you can really become the person that you're supposed to be. And so, um, as I said, I quit my job. Um, I was supposed to move right away, um, and of course I, um, didn't follow her advice. It was, it was obviously nothing that I, I was nervous. Um, I was feeling like I didn't have a way out. Um, and so now that I'm moving and now that I'm extremely hopeful about things that are going to happen for me in the future, um, I don't have the anxiety I used to have. I don't have the doubts I used to have. I don't have the feelings of hopelessness and the feelings of um, not being understood because I've been able to reach out to the people that have been really important in my life. And I mean, those are few, but the people that have really mattered to me that I felt really understand who I am, am and, and appreciate and can really empathize with who I am as a person holistically the way Elaine can that those people I've been able to pour out to and they're able to pour into me and it's been wonderful because I've and, and even though I was close to these people it was feeling like I was closing myself off to everyone and it, it didn't matter if I felt like you know I would push people away for no reason I would push them away because of anxiety and feeling lonely and feeling like, well, there's no point in trying because I'm not going to be understood anyway. And, but it's been amazing when you seek out the right situation and seek out the right people and seek out, um, what's really important of knowing who you are and being true to that. Um, those are things that you can uncover in, with Elaine and with an energy healer. Um, so I'm very excited for my next chapter. Um, I have uh, no real 
um, I guess I don't have any real um, expectations externally. Like I'm not expecting that I'll, you know, get a great job and then meet great people and have. I'm looking forward to being my best self. I'm looking forward to having the opportunity to be the person I've always known I am, and then being able to share that with others, and then being able to just be everything that my that I'm supposed to be and so um, as I said it hasn't been easy and I and I, I know that anybody who's seeking out an energy healer knows that it's not going to be easy it's not a quick fix you don't just get a pill and then you're done and or you're not just on a on a regimen of certain treatments that don't really help internal healing um but what i would encourage all of you to do is that if you do go to an energy healer um someone like elaine or anybody else but um with elaine um with my experience it's been as i said life-changing and i know that um with the tools that um they give you like elaine um has given me i can see that um, I, I know I can trust myself again to help myself to uncover the problems that I have and to handle myself in a way that, um, can be, um, I'm, I'm helping to heal the past wounds of, of trauma and, and neglect. And as I said, just being full of doubt and full of hopelessness, um, healing that myself and healing that internally and then having someone who can help you do that work with you it's invaluable um so when i um saw elaine i as i said talked with her for a while um i uncovered a lot of things that um a lot of people dismissed um even in therapy sessions or even in family settings um or even with friends or anybody else that I felt like I could trust, but then they wouldn't understand those things I could uncover with Elaine. And it took a while to sort of bring out a lot of the things. But after that, there was the Reiki session, which was probably one of the most calming yet mind stimulating things I've ever done. So you're sitting on a table, you're, you're lying down on a table and she, she puts these, the stones on you in these spots where um, to open you up and so that she can help heal you um, through Reiki. But um, throughout the entire experience, mentally, I was, I was, I could tell that there was changing occurring even then, even just after talking to her. And then that change kept continuing and continuing. And then I would see the changes that would have been really positive for me as I said, have been hard for me to handle sometimes, but have been really positive for me in uncovering um, those painful memories and those painful um, false ideals of who I am. So after the Reiki session, and then after several remote sessions I had with her, she'll have you um, uh, for like 90 minutes um, just lay down similarly to how she does in person but you'll be in your own space and she'll um I was able to receive a lot of her her energy through that too and as a consequence I was able to uncover a ton that I was holding back and holding in and um that even included um that even included past lives um I was able to tap into who I was in my past life and it sounds kind of crazy but um, I was able to re-experience certain things um, from my past life I, um, I I was able to remember my birth experience in this life and then my birth experience from my past life and then um, also remembering remembering a very pivotal part in my past life that 
made me extremely emotional. Um, making me a little, a little emotional right now. Um, but just things that can't be done with traditional healers, traditional counselors, or things that when you're treated with a person who who uses energy and uses the, the holistic um, method of seeing you as an energy force and someone who has a, a soul and an essence and, and uncovering that and then pulling out all that negativity to help you see that and then you see all the negativity and the, 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 the extent to which it's damaged you but then what you can then after handling all that seeing who you are as a person it's 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 amazing and i i encourage everyone who feels like they're misunderstood who can't uncover the deeper problems that they have that they feel like they're hopeless and um don't have a clue about what to do next with their life whether it be in their career their family or just general life purpose um anyone can have the experience that I have had with Elaine um with any it just takes a certain amount of willingness to be open and to see that when you have these hard experiences that you've you're able to see the them for what they really are that they're not things that you should be ashamed of because they happen to you they all the shameful things that I've had occur in my life have been not my fault honestly um things that have happened to me things I was born with things that I was subjected to that caused trauma in my life that I was ashamed about and I'm seeing how those feelings of being unwanted being ashamed being misunderstood that it's it's hard when you're around those that environment and around people that make you feel that way but I now have the inner strength that I never had before to face those things and face that I I'm it's not my fault I can be free of my of, of being of feeling like there's nothing I can do and that I just have to take everything and that I have no control of my life because now I feel more at peace with who I am than I've ever felt before in my life so um when you feel like the the external world judges you in a way that you don't feel is who you are as a person it's important that you seek out someone who can understand you internally and understand you on an energy and soul level. And that's what has been so valuable for me with Elaine. And I just want to make sure that if anybody is thinking about this, that they, they know that they are worthy of feeling like they have their purpose is valued and that their life is valued and that when you come to someone who who has is supposed to be helping you and they don't help you that when you go to these people and then they don't understand you it's not your fault it's not your fault that you've been subjected to these negative experiences um, you just want to make sure that you can open up to someone like Elaine that can help you uncover why these have happened to you. And usually, as I said, it's external. So, as I said, I would encourage everyone to do this. It's not an easy road, it's not an easy path, it's not an easy fix. You're going to be uncovering things that you probably have hidden away inside your head for forever, or things you never even thought you would think about. Like for me, in my past life, um, or my earliest memories of being on this earth in my own body. Um, so if you feel like you have those worries of, of not knowing who you are or who you're supposed to be or your purpose, um, go see Elaine. <laughs> um, I honestly think it's been the, 
one of the best things that's ever happened. Um, Elaine has been a huge, huge help for me. And it's not even, that doesn't even do justice to, to what I'm saying. But um, um, I would encourage everyone who has these feelings of inadequacy, of doubt, of being out of control, that seeing an energy healer can help you in truly uncovering things to help you heal from your past and heal from trauma. And um, that's why I am doing this video. Um, I have had my own doubts and insecurities even doing this video. It's hard for me to be in front of a camera without feeling um, insecure or, or feeling like I have, I'm going to say the wrong thing, but um, I, it's the message I, I'm trying to convey, however muffled and, and probably stream of consciousness confused it is, I hope that gets out there, that you feel like this is something that you can do to really help fundamentally change the, the, and break the cycle of, of trauma and negativity and, and, and clouding your energy that I've had in my life that I'm really excited about breaking that cycle so um i would very much encourage anyone who is able to to go see elaine um because it will be something that you will definitely learn a ton from and that you can ultimately start your life again so i hope everyone is well that is watching this if you have um as I said, any doubts or anything, I would first encourage you to go to an energy healer um, because honestly, with traditional medicine, they can't approach you in a holistic way. So, um, as I said, this was as as um, a last ditch effort, but it's ended up being something that I know is going to be extremely, extremely positive for me um, going forward, and has already shown me um, so how much positivity there can be in my life now that I've uncovered a lot with Elaine. So, um, to sum up, I would go to Elaine and, um, I just, I really encourage everyone to, to see that they are worthy of this kind of help.